Breaking new details on the limo tragedy right at the height of wedding and prom season when so many people are using these cars. New video emerging overnight of that vehicle just after it burst into flames. Big questions this morning about how it happened. ABC's Cecilia Vega has the latest for us. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning. Sad story here. It is the season for limos from proms to weddings, but this girl's night out had a horrific ending. The new bride headed out with her friends trapped in their burning limo. The fire raced so fast for most of them, there was no time to escape. This morning, disturbing new video of a bridal shower's tragic final moments. Oh Inside, nine women, including the bride, Nerisa Fojas, a 31-year-old nurse. Fojas had recently married in the U.S. and was planning a second ceremony in the Philippines this June. The group was crossing the San Mateo Bridge near San Francisco when the limo caught fire. One of the passengers reportedly told the driver she smelled smoke. It quickly began pouring in from the back of the limo. The driver stopped the car and he and four of the women escaped the blaze. One squeezing through the window partition behind the driver. The driver was able to get out. But Fojas and four of her friends all died in the blaze, found huddled just behind the driver's seat, trying to escape the flames. Police say it is unclear how the fire started. The flames reportedly spread so fast, the rest of the women sitting in the back of the limo had no time to escape, which could have been the problem if, according to another limo owner, the 1999 Lincoln Town Car only had two doors in the back. It was an aged piece of equipment and I don't believe it had the extra door and they would have to climb over each other and exit through the rear doors. The owner of limousine company Limo Stop tells ABC News he's deeply saddened and will do everything possible to investigate and assist authorities. Friends fondly remember the bride-to-be as likable and active. She was a nice person, quiet and friendly. I always saw her in her Facebook that she's um, riding a bike, um, sometimes I think like mountain climbing like that. Now, passersby tried to help pull the women out, but the fire was just too hot. So hot, it reportedly melted the fenders on the limo. As for the bride's new husband, George, he reportedly was waiting for the group back at the hotel where they were headed for that party.